Hey guys, welcome to Boxing Squared for boxing news and views from around the internet. This is the post-fight review for the Frank Sanchez foray and Joey DeWeco fight, which was on the undercard of the Adam Kovnatsky and Robert Hellenius fight. So a clear-cut, unanimous decision to Frank Sanchez foray. He gets the decision 100 to 90 on two cards and 98 to 92 on another. And I'll come to that last scorecard shortly because I couldn't find two rounds for Joey DeWeco. I thought that was being very charitable. This was a fight where Frank Sanchez as the bigger man at least in height not necessarily um, sort of body because Joey DeWeco outweighed Frank Sanchez by 25 pounds coming in at 247 Frank Sanchez 22 but um, the height and the reach massive factors for Frank Sanchez in this fight he used his natural advantages his athleticism with his footwork movement was uh, key for him in this fight to basically outclass Joey DeWeco I had this as a shutout it sort of got into a pattern very early on so I don't want to get through a lot of the action and sort of round by round because mostly it was the same what we saw was Frank Sanchez sort of utilizing the height and the reach from the outside uh, Joey DeWeco was trying to close the distance but was largely ineffectual and he seemed to have no plan B to try do anything different his footwork just wasn't good enough his feet weren't fast enough to close the distance and get away any meaningful work in this fight he had uh, one counter right hand um, near the bell in the ninth round but apart from that there was the odd shot which he was getting in because he was looking for counters but Frank Sanchez in his 15th pro fight and this was a step up for him against Joey DeWeco a gatekeeper if you can't beat De DeWeco you're probably not going anywhere in the heavyweight division but he proved he's a slick boxer you know uh, fast on his feet good speed with his hands and he was uh, sniping from the outside with the right hand there was left hooks he was working the jab really nicely and it just became more of the same round after round after round after round first round or so it was relatively tight and there was a feeling out process but yeah even that he still outlanded Deweco basically two to one in punches and the punch stats showed it was basically I think by the end of the fight about three to one in terms of punches landed and that was effective either two to one or three to one basically every single round and I didn't see any rounds where I could give it to Joey DeWeco but one judge did he gave him two rounds the first and the tenth round which I guess it is what it is at the end of the day but I had it a shutout as did two other judges but of this performance because this was a step up fight did Frank Sanchez foray did he impress or did he miss a trick here because it did devolve into the same thing round after round and effectively it was safety first he was uh, pot shotting and sniping Joey DeWeco throughout the fight you know banking rounds and it was a um, sort of low risk strategy compared to if he decided to trade in the pocket and there was times you sort of thought he could maybe put the foot down but he was obviously happy to go the distance get past this biggest test in his career and not take too many risks in the process so I think he might have missed a trick because uh, Joey DeWeco, while he is tough and durable, he was there to be hit and Frank Sanchez was doing it and he probably could have stepped it up. He was uh, very accurate with his punching overall Sanchez. So I think there was an opportunity to pepper him a bit more and that would have been good for a highlight reel or something like that. Not saying he would have stopped him, but he could have beaten him up a bit more than he actually did. But yeah, in terms of the performance, yeah, it was okay. But I'm not sure that fans will sort of after that sort of go, well, this is a guy that's going straight to the top. I know the broadcast was trying to talk him up and what he can do in the heavyweight division. But 15-0 and beating Joey DeWeco, and it was comfortable in terms of the um, score margin, etc. And it was a good boxing performance. But he didn't set the world on fire at the same time the much vaunted right hand he did find a home for it in the fight at different spots but uh, Deveco wasn't actually really uh, troubled by it at all so uh, while they were sort of talking up his power and what he can do 
as he comes up in the heavyweight division, you know, he's not going to be able to knock guys out. So we might see more performances like this where he is a bit more fleet of foot, utilizing some natural advantages. And sometimes in the division, it's not going to be height and reach, but he does have good footwork, good foot speed, good hand speed. So, and he's a decent counter puncher too, throw some nice combinations. So you might have to utilize some more of that. I mean, I guess the way I sort of look at it is um, Joseph Parker, sort of like Frank Sanchez Faure earlier in his career was a come forward fighter, you know, was knocking all sorts of guys out, but he got to a certain level and he had to rely more on his boxing and some of his natural gifts and athleticism, etc. We could see that happening with uh, Frank Sanchez Faure, but it will be interesting to see where they take him next, 15 and 0. He's clearly ready for another step up and hopefully it is a guy that's sort of closer to his level can maybe give him a few things to think about because at points in this fight it sort of thought well you know he's doing the same thing over and over it, it was impressive to a point but uh, Joey DeWeco just wasn't able to adapt and give Frank Sanchez maybe some of the, the stiff test that he probably needs at this point bearing in mind he's had over 200 amateur fights but yet yeah, good performance maybe missed a trick and not dominating as much as he could have but overall Frank Sanchez yeah a shout out in my books um, so can't complain too much but what did you make of it all Drop a comment loud and often. Hit like, hit subscribe, follow me on Twitter. Boxing underscore squared. I'm out.